Hi, everybody. Looky there, who we got to pick. Don't you be careful of the pressure you put on that hand. I'm going to have to scold you. <laughs> well, guys, it's Saturday here. And we're sorry that it's taken several days for us to get to opening the packages. Go ahead, baby. And, uh, and a box that's just for me. I'm going to open it, but I'm going to open it and then show you because I don't know what's in it. But I do know it's a personal gift. But anyway, there's the boss. And hi, I'm Susan. <clears throat> and we, along with 22 rescues, are furry feline monsters of mass destruction. Welcome to our channel. Please consider subbing if you haven't. And what? Oh, no, no. Oh, oh. Oh, my word. Okay, baby, let me. Um, oh, my goodness. Uh, Brandy B. Hopefully, both of these will work, LOL. I do hope it helps you, Mr. Bob and Cat Rescue. My family will continue to keep you all in our prayers. Love you. Enjoy your gift. From Brandy B. And darlings, you may recall that in a former package opening, Brandy B. had sent two $100 Visa gift cards. One of those cards had been opened before it arrived here. Brandy hasn't let me know if she was able to resolve that issue, and here is what she's done again. Brandy B., thank you so much. Two $100 Visa gift cards. This one's to DeBoss and Susan. And it says, Kindness has a boomerang effect. You both are much loved and admired. From an admirer from afar. From an admirer from afar, sent. Thank you so much. A $50 Visa gift card. Admire from afar. Yeah. Honey. We don't need to put that bar out. I was going to say, honey, do you know why the three wise men were all covered in soot? They just they come from, from afar. afar. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How you get fur from a skunk? I don't know. Run like hell. <laughs> Watch your language. This is a kitty cat chat. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I didn't even see that. From. Oh, coleslaw kitty stalkers. To make up for the rest of the vet bill. Cole, Cole, Cole Slaw Kitty Stalkers. Honey, y'all paid the vet bill. A $100 gift card. Now listen here. Now listen to me. You can look at the boss, but you listen to me. <laughs> I used a $100 gift card sent by Brandy B., to pay the $46 and some odd cent balance on the vet bill. Y'all paid the vet bill, honey. Oh, sweetheart. Okay, now y'all, I, I can't flip the lens when my camera's in record. So what I'm going to do, and I don't even know if y'all can see me. Make sure that address doesn't show because that's a real name. I want to be careful cutting it because I don't know. This is from 
And I knew this was coming because I received a message telling me I was receiving a personal gift from Flies on the Coleslaw. I have no idea what's in this box. Can you help me go the other way? Oh. Oh. Oh, my word. I don't know if you can. Oh, my goodness. Oh. They were like kitty things. Oh. oh. No, honey. They're. Oh. oh, I love it. Her crochet work. Flies, honey, tell me, is this a tea cozy? I'm not sure. I know it's a little cro Y'all, flies on the coleslaw. This, the work of this crochet is beautiful. Fine, fine work. And I could almost put that on a kitty, but it wouldn't go over their head. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like a little doll dress. And I have a little chicken doll that can go on. Okay. I have, I don't know. I hope you guys can see. Let me see what you're seeing. Okay. Purple crochet booties. Oh, they fit exactly right. I hope people can see because I'm kind of gauging it by my foot being right in front of your face. I hope you guys can see my slippers fit just great. Okay, now this, of course, is it, you know, it's a towel. If it is, yeah, see, there's a button and you put it over the rack and button it. And it smells really good. And I think I know why it smells so good, too. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, hang on. I don't know if you guys can see me or not. I hope you can. Oh, my gosh. Check this out. Hmm? What do you think? Maybe this? Huh? <laughs> you look like an elf on a shelf. I look like an elf on a shelf? <laughs> okay, now let's show them what was making it smell so good. This is another thing Flies on the Coleslaw does. And I have two wax warmers. This is eucalyptus spearmint. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. And this is French roast coffee. Wax melts. And my cool stuff, handmade by Flies on the Coleslaw, smells just like the wax melts. Are you putting stress on that hand? No. Have you done your exercises today? Yes. Did it hurt? No. Did you take your pills? Yes. Did you have breakfast? Just had a piece of cold pizza. <laughs> had a piece of cold pizza. It's Saturday. Tomorrow we're going to have pot roast. Tonight we're going to have homemade chicken pot pie. So, thank you all so very much for $350. Y'all, we still have other gift cards.
that we haven't activated yet. Thank you so much. We love you. This has been the boss and Susan. Oh, we better we got to show a kitty cat. Yeah, okay, cat I better channel. walk. It's a cat channel. <laughs> it's not the boss and Susan channel. It's a cat channel. Okay. The flies. Send me a message and tell me what the little. It's so cute. I love it. Okay, now hang on, guys. So I'm going to have to grab. All right, tell everybody whatever you want to say, darling, so I can run around and find cats. Okay, well, thanks, everybody, for your generosity. God bless you. Thank you, darling. Okay, up top. Dastardly dude, little. And you guys know who we got to go check on for sure, right? Little old man. Everything's a mess. Look, still we have... Oh, guys, this reminds me. Now, listen, this is sad. This is sad. Our neighbor, James, across the street just came over. <sighs> yeah. His... Okay, I've mentioned in other videos the azaleas outside, which, by the way, started to bloom this morning, belonged to James's wife, Patsy. She was my friend. She passed away several years ago. They had a cat named Sissy. Sissy was James' constant companion after Patsy's passing. And... Sissy couldn't get the, get up the other day. Hi, little man. There's our guy. Sissy couldn't get to her food dish the other day. So our friend and neighbor, James, who brings Bob the Sunday paper, had to take Sissy to the vet, and she had cancer. He'd had her for a very, very, very long time. He doesn't want another pet. And I understand. But there's a little old man sleeping peacefully. He went, um, he evacuated his bladder three times uh, since the last litter bo box cleaning, which would have been uh, yesterday, midday. I cleaned it this morning. And he has evacuated his bowels once. So in 24 hours, he's, he's gone pee pee three times and poo poo once. I haven't really seen him drinking water today, but he did eat the wet portion of his breakfast, and it was substantial. So, but, you know, I got the window open, a little breeze. He, he feels kind of warm to me this morning. Okay, let's go see now. Like I said, everything's an absolute disaster. <laughs> so. There's Lady Opal Moon. Oh, guys, remember the other day when I was setting up the habitat for Little Old Man and he didn't want to go in it? He didn't want the blue bed. He wanted his bed. Anyway, there's our Lady Opal Moon. My baby. She's now decided she enjoys being vacuumed. There's Wells. Well, be, be aloof, Mr. Man. Go right ahead. You be as aloof as you want. Who's coming now? 
Ooh, none other than Utah. Are you sniffing my new slippers? All right. Ooh, look at that. Empty dishes. I'm in trouble. That's why, see the, the fish and the baby duck? I figured out. Fish and baby duck go to the dishes. <laughs> Somehow on their own. It's almost like magic. They go to the dishes when the dishes are empty. It's like a signal. And there's Summer. Guys, guess what else? Utah and Lady Opal Moon have now decided that they like to be vacuumed as well. But not Wells. He says, don't you get that vacuum close to me? I want nothing whatsoever to do with it. So, all right. So, I guess I better get this filled up for a nice lunch for the kitty cats. And, uh, <laughs> hang on. I'm going to even unmade bed and all. Because if Kraken Asses sees this username, pardon the language, but it is a username, Kraken Asses. If she sees this and I don't show her Julie Newmar, I'll get in trouble. I went Ching Chi. Oh, I thought it was Wing Ching Chi to burrito. <laughs> I'm sorry, Deuce McKenzie. Did I disturb you? <laughs> you can lay back down, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, there's Wang Ting Cheetah Burrito. You who uses his from the top of the safe up the steps and hops up onto his shelf. And kiddos, I have no idea where everyone else is right now. So, um, I'll just walk back through this way, <laughs> see if there's anybody outside, and say goodbye. Just going to see, probably not, to be honest with you. Not this time of day. That's the adult unneutered male that lives up the street but thinks it lives here. And it looks like that bad gouge it had after a fight is healing up. I'm going to have to talk to the folks up the road. I really am. But in the meantime, like I've said before, I'm not going to let him go hungry or be thirsty. And I won't be mean to him ever. So he's got to have at least one place he feels safe. Oh, my Lord, you guys. Oh, my Lord, his throat. Look up, buddy. Look up. Can you guys see? Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, I don't want to close with that, you guys, but... <sighs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to talk to the folks up the road. This guy needs help. And it's not our job. It's their job. They need to tend to this baby. This is ridiculous. Oh, I'm so sorry. To, I don't want to end this on a sad note. <sighs> Darlings, this is the reality. This is the reality that folks like the boss and I face on a daily basis because of the utter and sheer neglect and irresponsibility of others. This guy needs help. Okay. 
Y'all, I am so sorry to end it on this note. I love you all so very much. Pray for this kitty. And pray for the good Lord to give me the right words to say to its people. This has been Susan the Boss in the household of furry feline monsters of mass destruction. We love you all so much. Bye-bye.